Daddy, it's you. Let's go out to play, Daddy. is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head.
need this. Do you hear me? Lesson one, mob jockeys. You are under the ocean now. If you feel the soft patter of rain on your hat, you're already fired. Lesson two. You can jumpstart a dead generator with a direct spark, but clear the guests out of the pool first. Scares these rich pricks to watch a working stiff hurling thunderbolts. You follow me? such a long time, and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him, you want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. It's
at last a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. in weeks. I don't need to hear your words! This is Dr. Dr. Sophia La with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. down alive but here it is and it's real rapture this is where that thing took my my poor baby girl from what I saw in the sub most of the city's in ruins but there were lights here and there and shapes moving oh, I'm rambling scared I guess but maybe if I find this Dr. Lamb, I keep hearing over the PA. I'll find Cindy, too. Big sister doesn't want you playing with me. for the people. Remember, Big Sister is always watching. To steal Adam is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. Of seeking a respite from my vacation. And she deems it necessary to chide me for working. 
the words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I found it rapture to be free of law and God, to live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, I am given pause. Till now, I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. Herr Delta, you arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you.
I put sheets, a hot plate, walls painted mostly, mattress with real springs. She'll love it. Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. Diane insisted that we spend a weekend at the Adonis, and already I find myself seeking a respite from my vacation. And she deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I found it rapture to be free of law and God, to live among those for whom work <laughs> is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of burying my child, till now I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. Dr. Sophia Lamb. Andrew Ryan is dead, but the tyrant dwells within us all. Remember, we reject the gene. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. I'm told that the people grow tense and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Do they miss the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand. But like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you.
Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Security cameras belong to Lamb, but if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. It's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back.
Ryan took his first drunk tour on my flagship coach. These days, personal bathospheres are all the rage. My rails only connect the oldest parts of Rapture now. And the city's just... just left me behind. <laughs> Plenty of cash in the bank, though. This private vehicle craze will blow over soon. scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. Ugh, Sophia Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny. One you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply chosen not to notice.
quickly. Head for the elevator. selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain.
Now, here is what the children tell me. You are a very old Big Daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. <laughs> 